In this video, I'm going to talk about a new feature in HoneyBook called lead forms. It's going to require a tad of knowledge on HoneyBook. And I have some other videos you might want to check out when I link to them, but I'm going to try and keep it really simple for you because this feature is so exciting. If you haven't invested in HoneyBook yet, definitely check it out. You can use my link or code Lainey for up to 50% off. So something that's existed for a long time in HoneyBook is called a contact form. And this is a form that you can basically embed or link out somewhere. Uh, you can put this on your website and it will get all of your client information. So think of this just as a regular old contact form on your website, anywhere else. And this is kind of what mine looks like. We ask about the budget, the invitation count, because I'm an invitation designer. We have some drop downs about what they're interested in, et cetera. And then every time someone fills out this contact form, they are going to enter themselves automatically as a contact. And then a new project will be created here in HoneyBook for me. So I don't have to manually do that. Them filling out the contact form kind of skips that step. So when I put this on my website or I send it to someone via DM or something, then they can go ahead and fill out all that information and I'm gonna have it here in HoneyBook ready to go. So lead forms do that, but they take it to a whole other level by combining all the features you already have with what's called smart files in HoneyBook um, and adding the contact form feature to them. So if you haven't explored smart files, I definitely recommend checking out that video that I'll link in the corner for you. Um, smart files can basically combine a lot of different actions. So you can combine like an invoice, contract, questionnaire, services, or scheduler, and you can do this fully customizable. So as an example, here is like a proposal and client onboarding template. You can add in a little video. You can have a list of services that the client can select their options from. On the next section, they'll see the actual invoice. Then they'll see a contract that they can go ahead and sign. On the deposit page, they'll actually make their payment. They'll get a questionnaire, how to get started working on your project, and then some information about next steps. So smart files can combine all of these different things in a million different ways, and that's such a basic overview. Definitely check out that video if you haven't yet. And lead forms are basically gonna take smart files and contact forms and combine them. So if you think about everything you can do with smart forms, add to it the fact that you can do this with someone who's not already in your system, who's not already in a project or a contact in HoneyBook. So if you're thinking about doing a workshop or you're selling coaching calls or you have many sessions as a photographer coming up, you can send a lead form out to anyone who's interested. You can put it on your website, you can link it on your Instagram, etc. And anyone who goes to that lead form will automatically fill out all their information and go through whatever steps you put in there and then they'll automatically make a project here in HoneyBook for you. So what are some of the options? So if we click create new on the lead form section, we'll see one-time consult, introductory call, we saw those VIP days, mini sessions, and then also digital product, which I'll show you in just a second. So let's say we'll do a one-time consultation, we'll do like a paid consult. If I click on this, the three different actions we have are scheduler, invoice, and payment. And again, this is not going out to someone manually who's already in HoneyBook, this is going out to the public and anyone can fill it out and it'll bring them into HoneyBook for you. So we go to edit this template. We can create a scheduler session or we can use an existing one. We'll use this existing client consult. And do you wanna charge for this? Yes, I do. So I'll charge say $150. Next, and then there's gonna be some question information. These two fields are required for any contact form or any lead form. And then we can add other questions. So let me add like a um, date selection and I'll say select the date of your wedding. Okay, and then if we want to link the answer that someone fills out to a field, so I wanna link it to their project date, that's always gonna be their wedding date. Um, we'll click that there. And then if I ever use the project date for any automations or anything in the future, it will be mapped right there. So we'll add this question. What your wedding date? Update. And then the next one is just a title. So we'll say wedding consult call. We can add in here a thumbnail either from our library or upload something 
beautiful. We can preview the confirmation email that they're going to get, or we can edit that in our email templates and then we can use automations. Um, if you're familiar with that in HoneyBook, I have another video on that and then save and preview. So what the client is going to see is our scheduler fill in their information. The next page, they'll have an invoice ready to pay and they technically won't book the session on your calendar until the payment fully goes through. So this is a great way to do any kind of paid session. And there's a lot of similar things we can do here, but the one I'm really excited about is selling digital products. This is so new to HoneyBook, so I wanna show you this. The, re the three actions we have here are services, invoice, and pay. And the main thing is when you go to sell a digital product, you just have to have a link to that product. So if you want to sell a PDF, an ebook, a course, et cetera, you're gonna need to host it somewhere else and have a link to that product. Um, so we're going to do, I have this like spreadsheet job earnings calculator on Google Drive. So we'll do that and we'll say job earnings calculator. We'll say it's $12. Um, description, download the calculator. And then we'll add our link just to that Google file. Then you can add more files if you want them to be able to select from. They, it's basically kind of like add to cart, which you'll see in a second. So you can add as many as you want here as options. Again, there will be the required name and email, but you can add additional questions if you'd like. And then some of this same stuff. Job earnings calculator. We can add a picture. And then the confirmation emails or the automation supply as well. And what that will look like to the client is select one of these. So you can select this one. You see the cart goes up to $12. They could select more if there were more options. And then once you've paid, you'll get that link in their inbox. So name, email, same as the other one, invoice, and then payment. So I'm super excited about these. Um, I know I kind of went through contact forms and smart files at the beginning of this, if you haven't watched either of those videos, check those out so you kind of understand the building blocks of this. Uh, but it's basically a way to put together invoice, questionnaire, services, scheduler with basically the public, as opposed to just sending those manually to people who are already in your HoneyBook. You can send that out to the general public, link it pretty much anywhere, and then they can fill it out and they'll become a contact and a project within your HoneyBook without you having to do anything. So love this new feature. Let me know what you think. And if you are interested in checking out HoneyBook, we have so many other videos here on our channel about them. And you can use my link or my discount code Lainey, which I'll put in the description uh, for up to 50% off, depending on which promos they're running right now. Thanks everyone.